I'm Johnny Carter and today we're at the British Shooting Show 2023. Today, me, Michael and Ryan are going to cover some of the latest releases and gear at the UK's premier gun show. Plus, we have a challenge to spend the £100 on the best bargain we can find. Hey, all right. Right. So sit back and enjoy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, yes, yeah I'm annoyed, yes. I'm annoyed. The finale of The Gun Review, Season 1. Guys, welcome to the British Shooting Show 2023 and episode six, the final episode of series one of The Gun Review. Guys, it's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be a great show. It's, it's good. good to finally be here, back at the show. It's looking fantastic so far from what we've seen. We had a sneak round last night. You guys are in for a treat. Some of these stands are wild. They have stepped up their game from last year. So guys, here's the plan for the show. We're gonna go start on a few stands together, check out some of our favorite things that we've seen and been talking about on The Gun Review, and then we're gonna go our separate ways and look at the things we're most interested in. And don't forget, the 100 pound challenge. That's what I'm looking forward to. Let's Let, go. Let's rock and roll, guys. Let's go. Starting off on Browning because we do love Browning. I'm oh, the that's, Browning the, fan. that's the right answer. Yeah, that yeah. is the right answer. Not because we were the first stand you came to. No, it's our priority. Well, that's why it's the good. first stand okay. we came to. That's why we started next to it. <laughs> you got three new guns. Brand new guns. We've got more than three, but yeah, we three we're going to talk three about. Three brand new exciting guns we're going to talk about today. Yes. Let's start with the medallion. I think this is one of those beautiful guns I've seen in a long time. Stunning. This is lovely, isn't it? I really love this gun. It's based on a 725 action, obviously. But as you can see, it's got the silver nitride, but inlaid in here is this sc fine scroll work. It's this lovely silver inlay. Yep. Picks up the light very, oh, very well. It's, it's the most subtle flash it's, beauty I've seen in a it's while. It's really lovely. It's yeah. my favorite gun I've seen in a long time. It's bling, but like... Elegant as well, it's beautiful. Look, matched in with this lovely uh, grey five walnut. Lovely slender lines, it's a 20 bore, so it looks particularly good. It elegant. does look particularly good. You've got the 12 over there. We've got which a 12. Isn't ugly, yeah. no. But it's not that. It's not the lines of the 20. Are they stunning. It but it's really very nice. lightweight, very well balanced. It looks beautiful and lovely. Lower stock than previously as well. Um, well, the standard Browning dimensions, so 3656 drops, which is yeah. standard, and 375 Just or 14. The 20 bore is deceiving, isn't it? Yes. Especially with that low profile yep. 725 action. Yep. But um, have a look, see what you think. See, I, I just think it, I could look at it all day. And every time you move it in the light, you notice another little bit, hand finish. It's just beautiful. It's it? beautiful. And at five grand, it's not killer money. It's no, totally it, affordable for a stunning gun. Like you say, it's subtle, but stunning at the same time. For less money, you've got a gun that is different. Yeah, now this is the Autumn. Um, now we used to do an old Autumn many years ago in the five series. This is, this is on a five series action, as you can see, again, 20. But again, we've used the same concept of a lovely scroll, light scroll engraving with this lovely silver inlay in the middle of the engraving there. It just frames it. I think it's beautiful. It's just a nice touch. Yeah, and, it's, and it, it harks back to the old Brownings with gold inlay birds on the inside. It's just... The Autumn was always traditionally a more uh, higher grade. This is actually, we classify it as a grade three. American Walnut is the American European. Walnut, yeah, gives you that lovely effect, the contrast between the silver and the silver. They're um, not going to appeal to the same person, that, which is a good thing to appeal yeah. to different people. Well, it's a different price point as well, so... Yeah, a thousand pound less. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Drop points. I feel like this is the older man's choice, Ryan. <laughs> but, but I, I love a drop point. <laughs> Who doesn't like a drop point? Who doesn't like a drop point? I like point. the drop point. I'm not saying it's like a drop point. It just says that it's a step up from your average shotgun. Yeah. yeah. You're a snob, that's what you're saying. That, that, I like yeah. pretty things and it's pretty. It is very pretty. And uh, they do just, I mean the 20 balls just handle beautifully. I mean even the 12s, but they're... It's, it's hard to look out after the other one. It, there is, yeah. Yeah. But I, I do it's like... It's like when you go to the pub, there's two girls. And... <laughs> Yeah. The other one likes you. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, these are both hand checkered, which is cool. Yeah. But the next one we're going to look at isn't, and that really surprised me. So this is an XT Pro Trap. Yes. So trap rib on it. Turkish walnut, grade yep. five Turkish walnut. Yep. Right. Uh, it's grade four, actually, I think that one. Grade four? Yeah. It's a pretty nice piece of wood, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But you've gone to a short concave step up. Yes. Which is cool as all hell, because it's like but, from okay. the 80s. Yeah. And all the guns that I love. Yeah. There's nothing about that gun that doesn't make me feel like a 
absolute killer of clays. Nice. As long as you've got fairly strong arms, because it's like eight and a half pounds. It's a big gun. Oh, well, it's not a walked up day gun, but <laughs> it's on peg. It's the first laser checkered browning yeah. I've seen in a long time. It's not a bad thing, it's just, just gives you extra grip. Shocking. Yeah. Absolute machine. And this being a pro as well, we denominate the pro series with all the weights. So you've got yep. the counterweight system in the stock and the fore end. I like breaking clays and I want something that's really good. Yeah. And I got four grand to spend. It's a dedicated it's clay buster. Yeah, yeah. That, I think it's good value. When you look at it next to some of the Beretta guns at the same price, yeah. I think that this There's a lot of well features in there weight. at that four grand price point, which is uh, good value for money, which is what we want in today's yeah. market. Where the, yeah, things are getting definitely. tougher. We want something that really stands out with value. David, thank you very much. Johnny, a pleasure as always. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you guys. Right, so we're over at GMK with Richard, and we've got something new to show us. Yep, so this is the brand new Benelli Montefeltre. So this is the start of Benelli redesigning all of their guns from scratch. We've got your standard black synthetic stock going through to this smooth, elegant looking, slimmer receiver. We're patenting the lozenge release button. You've got slightly scooped out uh, loading port here with the scooped out trigger guard that's now becoming synonymous with Benelli just makes it that much easier to load to your second and third shot. Nice molded forend, and it's probably, for someone, I shot this in Italy, one of the smoothest shooting Benelli's we've launched in a while. It's, it's really, really nice. I've actually shot that gun. Yep. Amazing. Yep, it is really, really so good. Smooth. Yeah. It doesn't plunk. It's and so you, smooth. You genuinely wouldn't know it doesn't have a recoil no. system in it. So it I was shooting Pro Fibers and yeah. it's so smooth. It's, it's, it's all down to this new trigger unit they've put in there. There is something just so crisp and elegant and precise about it. It just makes it a really nice shooting gun. That's the four in as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's very elegant looking, isn't it, for a semi-auto as well? It is. With the trusted inertia system. Yeah, I mean, you, you shoot plenty of pigeons. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've had a go with it. What did, what did you think? Yeah, yeah, it's very, very smooth. Very smooth. The, the recoil on it as well is minimal, like you said, without yeah. having the, the recoil system like the M2s and everything that had in before. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's very, very nice. And the price point as well is just so accessible for people that want a Benelli. Um, ten, ten year warranty. Ten year warranty. It's hard to beat, it, I mean. it is. It is. There is a lot to like about what Benelli are bringing out with this uh, back end of 2022 and now. And then going forward to this year, there's some exciting developments coming. So. Lots to look out for. Yeah. Is it just in the synthetic or they do a wood version as well? There is a wood version. We tend not to uh, bring wood into the country quite so often with semi-autos, yep. but it will be a special order option for anyone out there that it, wants it a bit want of one. wood. Chris Rogers, professional deer manager Good to see and you. Swarovski ambassador. Yeah. You've got some cool stuff on the Swarovski stand. Yeah, no, definitely, yes. Yeah. my first time on the stand, so it's exciting to be here. I need to play with that thermal. Yeah. I've been obsessed with it and I've never seen it. Yeah, yeah. Can you talk us through it? Yeah, so it's the new, um, the TM35. It's designed as a clip-on, really, for the guys that are doing a lot of shooting in Europe on the bore, obviously. The way things are going in the UK, with Fox in and uh, possibly deer management in the future, it's gonna have a real application for us in the UK as well. So you can unclip it, use it as a spotter, but like I say, it's really designed for going on a scope. It's just on that bracket? Yeah, just on. Oh, wow. There you go, That's yeah. Very easy. That's really nice. Yeah, and then obviously you can take that off, put an eyepiece on as well, if you want to use it as a spotter. Uh, it's got minimal, minimal controls, so obviously you're on and off, and then a few different buttons on the top to adjust different things for when you're using it as a spotter or on yeah. the scope. And we had a little look through it, it is good. It's nice that you've got the faith in this scope. Yeah. And I, I don't not like digital scopes, mm. but I kind of like scopes with glass in still. And it yeah. doesn't weigh anything, that's the real thing. I've, I've played with a lot of front attaches that weigh about 16 pounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think some of the other problems as well is we've had a few clients turn up now with these digital scopes, which are great in sort of low light conditions, but I don't think they're quite as good in the middle of the day. Oh no. So you're sort not of a bit a, limited, not a you know, having one thing. And then I've actually bought myself a DS1. So I'm using that all the time now for shooting our red deer, low light conditions. This is the DS2, which has got some upgraded features. It's got like a cant control on it to save, you know, holding the scope properly or whatever. So the inside, it's a normal reticle, which is zero. So obviously mine's yeah. zeroed at 100 meters. You then uh, click the button on whatever you want to range because you've programmed your ballistics into the app, which you've then uploaded to the scope. It then flashes up a new crosshair if there's any bullet drop at all, but also crosshair for windage as well. That's clever. So it takes into account different winds. And because, again, you've put in your specific ballistic data, it is absolutely spot on. And then over to the binoculars I'm using, I'm using the EL ranges. Yep, with the headrest. 
Well, actually, yeah, I've used with and without the headrest. I thought actually, it was a little bit weird, but I actually quite like it. It makes sense. Yeah, it really does work. It gives I you mean, that extra bit of more stability. Yeah, yeah. So obviously yeah. you just adjust that, you know, for your height of your forehead or if you've got like a beanie got, hat on or something. If you've got a big brain or not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Button on the top there. It's a rangefinder, ballistic calculator. It's also got a tracking system in there as well. So you can, if you've shot your deer, the valley to get to it. Why your phone to do that? Yeah, yeah, and then you can track back to what you've obviously pinged in oh, the distance. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So these are the new compact spotting scopes. Mm. So as a deer manager, I've got like a big spotting scope that I keep in the truck and I use it for looking out the window at, you know, roebucks or red stags in close detail. Obviously, they're quite big things to carry around. Yeah. They weigh quite a yeah. lot. You know, and if you've, you know, if you're up and about, you've got to have a tripod to put them on, or you've got to be, you know, resting on a back or something like that. So what they've done is they've brought out these compact telescopes. Uh, they've got an angled one and a straight one. Mm. Personally, I prefer the straight one for what I do, um, but the angled one obviously takes up less space in your bag. Um, they actually come with a little shoe underneath, so you could hold them in your hand, and then you can still focus oh, them. Still operate it. With yeah, because obviously that sort of shoe keeps your hand off the, the focus wheel. Uh, and you've got your magnification ring here and obviously depending on whether you've got glasses or not mm. so you'd wind that straight in yeah. so you get a full picture a lot of spotting scopes they have a bit of string attached to it and then you take that off and it flaps around in the wind you know yeah. so this or you lose it in your pocket so this one comes off and you can actually put it inside there so it keeps it all it's safe and in cute. one place that yeah yeah and these are really cool and I think in the future they're going to just, you know, finish big spotting scopes unless you're like a serious mountain hunter and you're looking at, you know, hundreds and hundreds of metres, you know. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Michael, you were obsessed with these in the last gun review. I love them. So this is Kadex 7 Stars Pro and the Kadex CDX 30 here as well. So this is Canada's answer to military grade, high end, refined, precision bolt guns. Everything that we all love. Ryan's not stopped fondling it. Do you want to I talk just, us through what you like? I just can't stop playing. I mean, it is a weighty bit of kit, but for serious long range shooting, it, what a platform. The full adjustable stock, the bolt is beautiful. So you were saying this is a four lug? Yeah, that's the four lug, and this one here is the three lug. Quick adjust, length of pull, the same again, cheek piece height. I mean, there's not much they haven't thought about on these, no. is there, really? Stock folds, the pistol grip is adjustable fore and aft, adjustable mag catch, ambidextrous. And I was saying about the trigger earlier, but what's unique about it is the Kadex trigger is switchable from single stage or two stage. No. whichever your preference is and it breaks lovely and crisp they've done a fantastic job the three lug action is very quick bolt handles massive you can grab a hold of it 20 moa rail which is pinned and screwed fluted barrel threaded we've got arca rail cut into the fore end of the chassis it's actually the arca lock system so it won't move under recoil barricade starting as a prs shooter <laughs> If I hadn't just spent a year's wages on my new rifle, I'd definitely be having one of these. How much is it? This is just a shy of six thousand pounds. It's about the same price as building one. Yep. You don't have to build one. Already Everything's done. done. You yep. literally just got to put decent optics on, and you're ready to go. The CDX30. I reckon I could shoot that freehand well enough. It's a bit heavier than a stalking rifle, but that—I mean—that's a beast. It's, it is very long. That. Yeah, this Eight is a completely different. It's very manageable. This is where it gets really cool. So you've got some excellent competition caliber choices. Obviously, 6.5 Creedmoor 308. Yeah. But this also comes in 6.547. Right. 6.47, 6 Creedmoor. Yeah. 6 BR, 6 Dasher, and 223. Right. Okay. Every base is covered. Yeah, they've covered it all. This comes in everything from 6.5 Creed <coughs> and all the way up to 375 Enabler. It's so cool. Right, box, mag, semi-automatic shotguns are the closest things we can get to ARs, I was going to say. ARs, yeah. Oh, I, I can have a lot of fun with anything, yeah, we've yeah. seen. That is pretty cool. Michael, what do you know about Daria? 24-inch model, yep. in Turkey. Okay. Just over a grand. I mean, I don't have a problem with Turkish guns. I, I just I dislike when people say that they're as good as other guns, and not that they can't make great guns, but mostly that they're known for making cheaper guns. Yes. That, that, that's my that's your phobia. Thing. It's not a phobia, it's just it is what it is. Mm. I mean, what's that going to go up against in a practical shotgun game? I know you're going to get the same sort of thing. I know nothing. No. It's not my thing, though. It does. But I do know it's cool. I mean, what size mags can you get for these? Are you saying it's 5, 10, five? Uh, 15, 19, and you can get some drums I mean, as well. 19 shots of fun. I mean, so I, mean I bet the, the drum doesn't work because they never do after a while. No. But and 
I've, I've, so I've shot box mag shotguns I've got a fair amount, mm. and as soon as you get after 10, mag, 10 rounds, that's a lot. Yeah. That's, uh, it just a weighs lot, a lot. It has a lot right. more to it, yeah. So most of the PSG ones are going to be 9 plus 1, aren't they? Mm. Unless they've got an extended tube taking up to yeah, 13. Like 14, 15. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't know how they run it on their matches, but that's that for eleven hundred pounds. It's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, I don't feel qualified to talk about it, other than that's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Mm. Me and Dan and Donnie are partners in Saber Tactical. Awesome. So we're what we, we do the R and D, and then they do all the manufacturing and shipping and everything. Awesome. So. And you're based in Utah. Yes. Thank you. Which so is a cool part of the world for guns. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And you're based around. Air gun stuff and rifle stuff, right? Yeah. It's just chassis for everything. So most of our stuff is air guns, but some of the stuff like the grips are gonna go to trans transfer over to uh, firearms and things. Can you talk me through this gun and your bits on it? And Absolutely. Yeah, go for it. It's gold. Yeah. So, I'm sold on gold. I love gold. Yeah, I love, love gold. So this is the new Panthera rifle. They yeah. designed it as a PRS style rifle yeah. for shooting slugs, right, in competition. And one of the things they wanted to do was make it so that your scope height and this barrel and everything was much, there, there, there was uh, much low profile. a low profile, so you can stick it through ladders and barricades and things like that. Nice. So that's why it looks like the way that it does. But on the on the stock rail, there was a few issues that we saw right off the bat. With so, the factory. With the factory set. rail. Yeah. Yep, so we actually, this is the first people are seeing of this rail. Um, these are the very first ones that we've, yeah. we've even brought out, hadn't even been on social media yet. But we made the rail higher, we made it wider, and then we added brass weights to it to make it heavier. So that when you put the gun on a sandbag, it will balance out the gun and not pop up like this, right? Nice. So that's why we made it so, uh, the, the brass, that's why we used it. Brass is just a heavier material. It's cool. It's cooler, go on, yeah. admit it, it's definitely cooler. And you, and you can feel it too, how sturdy it is, right? Oh yeah, when First, you, just, you just hold it, you know you're holding onto something of... Yeah. It's it super solid. Really nicely balanced. That is strange because it's a heavy gun. It is. But you could quite happily take a freehand shot and not feel too bad about yeah, it if you need it. Absolutely. And this is just gold because it's gold. Yeah, we anodize this. So it's going to is it going to be an aluminum? So the ones that are coming out right now, they're going to be black. But after talking and, and the reaction we've got from most people, we might do a few in gold as well to offer those it's as well. It's quite smart looking. Yeah. But this is this is your your 0 degree grip, right? Yep. Which is thumb rest. So we've got another one that's skeletonized. It's not here as well. That's like a regular grip like this one. Yep. But uh, yeah, this is our newest grip that's coming out. What do these sort of things retail for? The rail, I think, is going to be around 250. Okay. 100 bucks for the grip. Pretty good value, given the amount of work that's involved in making these things. Yeah, absolutely. The moderator. Can we talk about the moderator? Oh man. Oh. We need Donnie over here for the moderator. Donnie, yeah. come over here for the moderator. This moderator is the coolest moderator I've seen on any gun ever. Yeah. These have been out for years, but now people want to be able to put in their gun cases, and and some of our moderators are really long, like you know, in a foot yeah, long or something. Yeah, this is a long. Yeah, right? yeah, that's pretty long. So. It's like 10 inches, maybe yeah. 15. <laughs> yeah. So you want to be able to take it off, but people are scared to take it off because what if they put it back on? And, and it's a lot of work. That and, and it's, not, you know, you're changing the point of impact because yeah. you, you know how tight you put it on and stuff. Well, this one is indexed. So, you know, you like you can remove it and one of, there's there's three tabs on, on around the sides and only one of the tabs can fit like one way. So you can always index it the same way. So it's always gonna go, it's a back to zero mod. Yeah, back to zero. Mod. So we've looked at a good selection, rifles, shotguns, semis, stuff, There's scopes. Everything, every, anything you could possibly want. And we've barely scratched the surface. So I say divide and conquer. Oh, that's a good plan. That's a good idea, yeah. But first, the 100 pound challenge. So how good are you going to be at haggling? Clearly not as good as you, mate. You reckon? Because I don't mind or begrudge people earning a good wage or a good amount for a good product. I'm happy to pay the price that these people want as long as it's not too much. So am I, but this is a challenge. This is slightly different. We've got £100 and we've got to get the most best stuff, as you said. Half an hour, back here at Deer Hunter. All right. Oh, good luck. Half an hour back here, Deer Good luck, Hunter. Michael. I mean, shake his hand first, it's fine. I'm on my way to see if I can try and haggle. There's so many people, I'm yeah. very late. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about guns. What have you got? Guns. That's good, Dan. We're now 15 minutes overdue. You turned up about eight minutes late. Uh, I was about four minutes late, thank you. Yeah. Hey! All right. He's late, but you he's back. Go on then. Get in the middle, show us what you got. You were sweating a bit, mate. You yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't find it. I was like. 
Are you okay, okay son? So I got more of victory because I donated the rest of my money I didn't spend to the NGO. Mate, that's a good shout. Yeah, that is you. a good shout. I'm, yeah, not, I'm yeah. not against that. I didn't have any change left, so. No, nor did I. Yeah. No, I spent all of my money. But if I did, I would have given it to the NGO. Of course. I also entered the Tweedle giveaway for the 687 double L. Lovely gun. Oh. I also bought. You're not allowed to win a Tweedle. Oh, what? What did you this buy? This lovely Deer Hunter, £69. How much you donate to charity at five? Yeah. Well, 11 pounds. 11, 11 pounds? Wow, that is a moral victory. I <laughs> thought you were going to be like, what? But it's 11 pounds more than you donated. I failed miserably for how I started off. In my head, I wanted to get a gun, so I went to the Oxford Gun Company. You went to see Flossie? It yeah. turns out he's tighter than a duck's ass in water and wouldn't even sell me a side by side for 100 quid. A junk one as well? A junk saying? one, it was falling apart. So I was doing him a favour, I was going to hang it on the wall and weld it up. So then I run to another shop to get a cheap gun. You were in there. That put me off, flustered me even more. Then I panicked, run around for a while, and I ended up going to Edinburgh Outdoors and buying one of their new gun slips. And that's a very nice gun slip for £100. Right? £100, yeah. yeah I think, yeah, and to get money off of it as well. Mate, well done. And it's, it's lined? Genuine, Genuine leather. leather. Yeah. Mate, so, pull down the Edinburgh Outdoors, dummy deal. Good pull, well done. Let's have a look at your... Um, I, I just think out of the two of you, I think, I think Michael might have won. So I went to go and see Mike Ladd of right. Ladd's Guns. Mike Ladd, yeah. Probably one of the biggest gun dealers in the country. Yeah. Well known for having everything from like a £100,000 gun to a £50 gun. Yes. Right. He has guns for everyone. There's always got stuff. And I said, I've got 100 pounds. He goes, there's a rack of guns over there for under 100 pounds. Go and choose. I bought this. Zabala. It's not a Zabala. It's a Laranaga. Did you have to pay extra for the bluing? Is that why you left the bluing behind? I had to get a discount somehow. Oh, OK. Hey, but nice gun you bought, though, isn't it? Well, I can sell you a set for it. If you this want. is a 20 ball box lock non-ejector, a little raised rib, 27 and a half inch barrels, a 15 inch stock it might not be high grade but i'll tell you what it locks up tight it's relatively well made and it comes up well <laughs> i got 25 pounds off 25 pounds off because you said i'm johnny carter yeah yeah, mate, yeah, yeah i'm annoyed i'm annoyed yeah mate, if ever you see a side by side 24 any sub gauge gun yeah anywhere near 100 just go and buy it haven't you I think you might have beaten me and Michael. I think I got too flustered under pressure within half an hour. Half an hour, mate. Half an hour is not enough time. Just really back on time. time. Yeah, half an hour is not enough and time. And all I did was go and look at five guns, do it, do the paperwork and leave. I can't argue with it. I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't manage to get a gun. It's Everywhere nice. I tried to get a deal, I couldn't get a deal. And the one place that Lads. I would have got a deal, you were in there. All right, before we go our separate ways, there's one last thing we need to do together. Yep. They're having some really important, like, meeting over breakfast over there. OK. I'm going to go gate crash it. Why not? Yeah. Let's yeah. go. OK, welcome, guys. How's the trade going? I didn't say Mr. Bright, sir. What is it you actually do for a living? Oh, here we go. So we were going to interrupt, but this is actually a really good feature. They're having a really good conversation. We're just, we're just sat that. and like, watch for 10 minutes and feel like a bit of a knob for them to interrupt. Yeah, I don't think we should. I think we should just let them carry on. Well, well, winding Joel up about winding them up and interrupting. Yeah. We're going to have a glass of wine and watch. Yeah. It's only Friday at the show, but the buzz here is actually really good. It seems to be there's less stands, and the stands are much bigger. People have invested a lot more in their stands, a lot more product on display, a lot more staff to help you out. But right now, we're going to be looking for really specific shotguns, the coolest and newest things from the biggest boys, and, well, literally whatever we can find. Let's go. And before I start my mission, I've just bumped into Lloydy P. All right. Off of YouTube. Which outside hold cartridge stand? Everyone here is busy, but we're going to tell you all about their new three inch steel loads. Ooh. I don't know a great deal about them other than I have seen them do great things. Yes. I Well, I think there's been a lot of skepticism about them in the past. To be honest, judging by the kills I've seen people making with steel, there's nothing to worry about. Three inch steel? I don't yes. know anything other than I saw Solomon's killing some very quality birds with them. Yeah, they're devastating. And yeah. now there's some 20 boars. Why there are they is. better? So 20 gauge Magnum steel, which is a 28 gram four. Um, basically with steel, obviously it's lighter. So the, uh, the amount of actual space available within the cartridge is obviously reduced. So by going to three inch, you can get 28 grams of shot there. Um, 
your usual 70 mil 20 gauge steel, you're looking at 24, 25 grams. So this is a good way to sort of beef up a 20 gauge steel game cartridge. Just increasing performance as yeah. much as we can. Yeah, so it's high performance, so you've got the bigger pellet size there, and obviously a larger uh, payload in 28 grams. And we're still running the use the right steel cartridge length for your chamber. So yeah, yeah. that's going to suit a lot more modern guns that's than right, 70mm. Yeah. yeah, so your three inch chambered guns, you're matching the chamber length, which in effect reduces any damage down the forcing guns. Yeah. And there you have it, Lloyd. Absolutely. And now we know. Well, I mean, I already knew. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrowad clay shells. Mm -hmm. Yes, I actually had quite a few inquiries this morning, yeah. Um, because the hydrowood lead game shells are the most devastating game shell I've ever used. That's Unbelievable. Right. Yeah, yeah. I had lots of inquiries for sort of a simulated uh, compact style uh, hydrowood lead. Yeah. No, no, no. I want high end competition. Sovereign, you're you, thinking. Yeah, Sovereign hydrowood. I want yeah. Pro 1 hydrowood. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? We could, could have, it could be on its way. We make our own wads now, so it's perfectly easy for us to change the tooling and sort of go ahead, yeah. <laughs> It's happening, it's happening. Yes, yes. Welcome to the Seas Greeny Fab Arm Stand. Absolutely, welcome. This is a gun. It is. It is named after a pigeon. Correct, Latin for. Yeah, Columba Palumbus. Why? Because Fab Arm found that there is a gap in their, their product range, I guess, for a gun that is suitable for, for pigeon shooting in the UK, so. So they made it cool camo. Yep. And Cerakoted it. Correct. In very, very pretty Cerakote. It is. Well, if you had a car that colour, you'd be the king of the world. Absolutely. So it is based on the XLR action, which is tried and tested mm -hmm. in the Fab Arm range. You've got the same mechanics, the same pulse piston that is involved in XLR uh, from the, from the get-go. So it's incredibly soft to shoot with. Yeah. Camo finish to it with the Cerakote action. You've got an additional choke that comes with this particular gun. So this is essentially, Fab Arm has always been renowned for essentially how well they pattern with steel shot. So- Well, they're barrel makers first, gun makers second. Kind essentially, of. yes, yeah. yeah. So what many people don't know is Fab Arm have always produced the barrels for Magrini as well. Overpressure tested barrels, 1630 bar, and you can shoot steel shot through full choke. If you felt the need. If you felt the need, but the way the world seems to be going at the moment, it's very much I mean, more the put, put, putting the steel through the full choke rather than the yeah. felt the need to shoot steel. <laughs> yeah, I'm a progressive absolutely. guy. <laughs> absolutely. So with the, uh, the Columbus Columbus, you also get uh, an, an additional choke, which a is essentially a, a full choke specifically designed for steel. So it's been tried and tested. That's cool. And performs faultlessly well. Right, I, I think it's a good looking gun. So that's 1,500 pounds. In the semi-automatic world, sits quite good value. Got a lot of features that guns at three or 400 pounds more have. Yep. And it's a great gun. It is. Should we look at something ridiculously expensive? Let's do that. Yes. So I might have seen one of these at Barbary already. Yeah, what indeed. a gun. Absolutely. It's an Invictus 9. It is. With gold in it. With gold. And precious stones. Correct. It's, it's out there. Absolutely. And I think that most people watching might think, uh, but I think in the flesh, it's unbelievably good looking. I definitely think it's a gun that when you see it in photos, it does not do it just to the no. to be honest. I felt that about um, the nine already, and this is just even more so. You need to see yes. it to just be involved. Yeah, so the principle is same as previous generation of Victus 9, only you have the gold details and you also have the, the gemstones in the, the eyes of the mythical creatures as well. Oh, it's so cool. Absolutely, yeah. It's so cool. I know that the process of getting the stones in the eyes and getting them set in a way that was both aesthetically pleasing and they wouldn't fall out with constant banging. Correct. It was quite serious. Yes. But yeah. I think it's come out beautifully. And not that much more than the original nine. No, so 14995. Gold. GS. 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 Yes, correct. Gold stones. Golden stones. My I, it's wild. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Yeah. I'd, uh, Some lovely, lovely little details. Pleasure of reviewing the nine for shooting times. I, I couldn't find a fault. I thought it was brilliant. This is definitely probably one to find a bit more fault with from a personal perspective. It comes down I to taste, I personally love yes. it. Yep. But the nine, I don't think anyone can hate it. Being well thought about, well composed, yep. and it shoots great too. Yes. Obviously, that's quite important with guns. It is indeed. Mike, thank you, as always. No problem, thank Epic. you. Epic. Lord D. How's it going? I'm really good, mate. How are you? Good, thank you. What are you doing today? Uh, currently, I'm just polishing up a barrel for black. I've been restriking it up because it's been filled with file marks. So I've been taking all that out and I'm going to start with 150 grit and take it up to 2000 grit. How long does that take? 
Uh, I'll be here till the end of Play Sunday doing it. As a three day job? For this one, because it's been uh, quite a pain. It's got hard spots, soft spots. It's an old military, so uh, it's got like a hard spot right here. Oh, so this, isn't, this isn't a new barrel? No, this isn't oh, a new barrel. This makes a lot more sense. This okay. is quite an old military build, 303 Wesley Richards. It's one of our own, but uh, we're making it like a brand new Wesley. I heard you guys are looking for apprentices. Yes, we are. Yeah, what's the apprenticeship program like? Uh, the apprenticeship is really good. So you start off and you do your first six to eight months making your own tools, doing your own toolkit. Um, then once you've done that, we find out where you would prefer to be. So whether it's stocking, metalworking. If you pass. If you pass. But then once you've done your six months of making your toolkit, you'll work around the workshop. And then when we find where you fit best, you'll stay there, you'll get on with your job and then you'll slowly start to rise through the ranks. That's awesome, mate. So you're going to find where the talents are and the passions are and push them that way as That's long as they the fit the Westy Richards society. Yeah. So we have here two very reasonably priced guns with stocks that look like they're very expensive. Yeah. Well, certainly that one looks very expensive. This one is wildly interesting. Yeah, so it's just something crazy for the market. The Webbing's got Procom. These are effectively the finished samples. Lovely styling, mate. Those raised half panels on the action do look great. Yeah, it's something different for the market. We haven't seen this before at this price point. So this is a 1,300 pound glove grip stock competition clay gun. Absolutely. It surprises me you guys are the first to do it. It's something we've been looking at for a wee while. A uh, little bit different features with respect to we're going for a Cerakote barrel and action. 12 gauge only, 13, 32 inch, all wood stock and then the metal stock adjustable. Obviously the metal's gonna give you a lot more adjustability because you can do uh, butt pad, cone, adjustable weight up and down there for center of balance. For somebody who is weird, can't afford a custom gun, doesn't want to spend on a custom Absolutely. gun, you could get this and use it as your pattern gun before you went Absolutely. and bought something better. Absolutely. And do what the main thing is, gun. it looks a bit cool as well. You know, compared it's, to some of the, the, the basic wood stock. It's just definitely more modern. I don't Absolutely. hate it. That I love. I really do. The glove grip fit is... It's, it's took a little bit of time to work the, the dimensions to kind of fit the, what do you want to call it, commercial market, to yeah. make it fit as many people as possible. Unfortunately, it will fit the bigger hand, or medium to bigger hand. Yeah, yeah. But we are going to remove the, the raised ramp there, so you'll be able to ride your hand up a little bit further. I think that's for, important, yeah, yeah. So you can I, obviously control the grip of it. I think this is it. a sort of gun that you're going to buy and perhaps take a file to in the first day. Yeah, you could certainly finish with the oil finish. Take a file to it if you wanted to. It won't affect the warranty. I suppose that's always a little thing to pop in there. It will. No. It no, won't. No. 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 Of course well, not. Um, and then obviously the we oil it. Exactly. Totally warranted anyway. Yeah. Don't worry. If you sent it back because you broke it whilst you were filing it, that's a different story. But um, no, that's very interesting. And then you can re-oil it, and then you wouldn't even know that you've uh, you've custom fitted it to yourself. Yeah, a little bit of handiwork on your own part. Absolutely. And. 1300 quid and you can get a gun. And I said that forend is, I mean, it's a direct copy of another very famous forend design, but my God, it feels just as good. And that's the geometry. It's, it's, it's punching above its weight in the respect to the price point, the features, features are big. Yeah, gonna have balancing weight systems fitted? Um, on the metal stock, yes, we will. Ah, there. Uh, on the wood stock, no, it won't. It definitely doesn't feel that cheap. That feels great. Good. What a lovely that's, gun. That's what we're aiming for. And that's the sort of grade of wood you're going to get with it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got actually other versions that have been sent to Germany for the show that we're doing over there in a couple of weeks. The wood on the other one is, is much, much nicer. But considering it's just a light oil finish, and you know, it's going to need a bit more love over time. Yeah, that wood would yeah. pop, wouldn't it? I've oiled this quite heavily actually already, and it's, it's still soaking in the oil. Yeah. Right. You can see the oil drawing into the wood after like three right. seconds of wear. It is brilliant. I saw you posted a picture on Instagram and I'm like, yeah, very nice. It's still shot proof. It'll still have the five year warranty that Webby and Scott's carry. Three inch chamber, five chokes. I am all for anything that makes cool features more readily available to the Absolutely. world. Absolutely. Well done. Cheers, mate. Well done. Thank you much for time. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, BMP, I know relatively little. Firstly, how is it pronounced correctly? BMP, I think it is the best BMP as you can pronounce. Option. Yes, because uh, in Italia would be too difficult. Baschieri <laughs> e Pellagri. All right, there you go. You've heard it here first. <laughs> I know relatively little about it other than a few of my friends shoot it. They're great product and the color choices on the shells are always really beautiful. Mm. We've got some flashes here, which are yes. your top of the range clay shell? Yes, uh, correct. Uh, it's uh, our premium product. Uh, okay. And uh, you say BMP is unique in the world uh, because of his uh, Gordon case. You see that it's not only aesthetics, uh, but uh, is a real uh, shock absorber that okay. uh, working in synergy with the world uh, 
create uh, less recoil and give you also a um, sensation of uh, very positive feeling uh, and so on. So, Brilliant. In terms of where they sit in the market, it is, BMP is a premium product. Correct, Throughout correct. The Premium positioning product, correct, correct. We have a wide range. You mentioned the clay sporting uh, shot shells, yep. but we have also a wide range for the game shooting. Yeah. You make probably the best known and best tungsten cartridge ah. in the world. <laughs> Which we'll you have a look at in a second. <laughs> you choose one of our uh, premium products uh, for the game shooting. Tungsten has uh, unparalleled performance because uh, is, uh, it, it goes over the expectation. And uh, our MG2 tungsten uh, is loaded also with our new technology that is uh, the green core biodegradable wood. 100% uh, biodegradable components uh, that uh, together with the tungsten and our unique loading so makes this product uh, one of the best on the market. I know a few of the high bird <laughs> shooters who say they are the only thing they'll shoot. They're not cheap, but... Can be a Lamborghini be cheap? <laughs> that's, that's my life. I pull that one out all the time. You can't buy a Ferrari for a fiver. <laughs> what makes the clay shell special? What is special about the Flash over something like the Legend or the National? So all our, let me say, uh, product for the clay shooting is uh, the Gordon. So. Okay. Everybody at this, then obviously changing the loading in terms of um, the pellet, treatment of the pellet, for example, the, the flash load 5% uh, antimony white pellet, so very hard that maintain the roundness and when breaking the clay is a perfect breaking, I would say. Uh, the other, obviously, and the a pre cut wood. Other shot shells load different component. Depends on the on the aim, no, on the target uh, and the use uh, that uh, the shooter do, does. Why should people choose BMP? Because it's second to none. There you go. It's a good attitude. King of, Julian of Plaza, so Lord Johnny Carter today of, of media. This is really pretty. I don't feel I, I feel disrespectful holding it. Can you hold it? Why? Well, I'm holding it by the stick on the back, which makes me feel. Like that's it's a okay. weird blaze lolly. But that's what it's for. <laughs> Can I it holds it? a big handle. This is quite possibly one of the most beautiful guns ever. Thank you for that. I conceived the idea. Tried to draw it. Failed miserably. Ate the crayons instead. Ate the crayons, gave them to Rob, knocked up a drawing in the shop. A little bit better than mine. I mean, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. I mean, I'm a, I like a woodcock. And this Who is doesn't? the most woodcocky gun in the world. What is it? It's an F3. So it's a Blazer F3. Hand custom, engraved. Hand engraved. Very nice. For display purposes today, we've broke the gun down into its component parts. Because this is just a nice thing. So it's one of four guns that are in a series called the Feathers. And they are for sale individually? Individually or as a set. Catches the light so lovely. So we've got pheasant, partridge, woodcock, and the grouse will be the last one to come probably next month. So you are not, you don't actually work for Blaza? No, says. these are all King Farm Sporting guns. It's a one of one gun. Each gun is one. One woodcock, one pheasant, one partridge, one grouse. How much is something like this? 38,995 pounds. I was expecting it to be a little more, wow. so that's okay. Very reasonably priced. For, for the level of engraving, I'd say yes. Yes. They're, they're a Marmite gun, so a real dividing piece, but we wanted a tactile finish. We wanted you to be able to stroke it. Yeah. We wanted you to be able to feel the texture, and, and you can. Yeah. Please have your very expensive lolly back. Thank you. That is stunning. Well done. Thank you. Almost like a lifetime's dedication to gun trade pays off. Well, maybe. With good ideas. Maybe, yeah. Occasionally. Julian. See you. Thank Thanks, you. Johnny. That is. It could be one of the best looking guns here. Could be. Held by one of the best looking blokes. It was a minute ago. Maybe. So Ryan was less happy that he failed at the competition. And so I was told by the guys who organised the shooting show and laid down the competition sort of for concept for us to go out and buy him a gun. Go away with £100 and buy him a gun that will make him feel better for losing. And so we came here to Pegasus Arms, which is run by a lovely man, an ex-para, and we had a little look for some £100 options. 
And here is one, a absolutely mint condition Carrera and Astalara single barreled 410. Really nice little gun. Ryan was saying about one of his children wanting to start shooting and I thought actually, this is quite a nice thing to start with. So, job done. Yeah, yeah I'll, get, I'll get it on his diet ticket and then yeah. he'll transfer it to mine. Yeah. Okay now? then mate, thanks very much. No, thank you very That's much. That's a bargain for you. I, wait, it's not a bargain for me. It's sort of for you and sort of for your kids and it's not really from me, it's from the British Shooting Show. Oh. To you. Oh, bless you. And don't say thank you too quickly because I was set another £100 budget to make you feel better about losing. <laughs> really? Yes. What Can I unwrap it and have a look then? Well, yeah, you have such a beautiful gun slip to film. And well, it's full. It's got your gun in it. Well, then I can take that back out oh, right, okay. and then regret that I put my black bag away. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to unwrap it. What well, just, it? just pull it out this way, Ren. You'll like this. It needs maybe some modification before the kids shoot it. Wow. Oh, it's got a brass butt pad. Uh, you like a bit of brass? I do like a bit of brass. Look at that. Right, it is actually that, really nice. That is really it's nice. It's a really shootable 410. Nice, but, safe, great gun to go start with, learn with, and actually shoot with. And if you don't give it to kids, I know you're going to have loads of fun with it. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. I could cry if I had emotion. Well, that's sad. <laughs> This looks a little bit different. Talk to me. It's different, but familiar. Yeah. Uh, the Morel has been in the Browning range now for probably five or six years, I'd say now. Mm. Time goes so quickly, I job to remember. Yeah. Uh, obviously based on the old BAR rifle, That's the Browning automatic. automatic yeah. The difference being mainly that the, this is obviously a straight pull rifle. Yeah. So, with it's, a spring assist. I was going to say, it's spring so assist, it's, so it's unlike most straight pulls. Unlike most straight, and it's very, very quick, much quicker than other brands other that brands, we can yep. mention. Um, so yeah, the Morale is a, is a take on the, the old BAR. Yeah. Um, Got to say, it's not the most popular rifle in the UK because no. it's designed for driven boar hunting. Yeah, so we don't, we don't get much driven boar And we don't here. have that many. We do have a few, but we don't, few we, don't, uh, we don't hunt them in a driven format. But yeah, uh, but yeah very good for guns. You know, if you're going to the continent to shoot wild boar, driven yes. game, it's a great gun to take with you. Um, very, very quick. Uh, and accurate as well. It's got a very accurate barrel. Yes, yeah, fluted. Um, the main difference now with the the morale. This is called the 4X. This new system is they were com before they were just one or two different ranges of yeah. uh, models of guns. Mm. The whole point of the 4X is it's now like a modular, semi-modular system where you yeah. can pick and choose you elements. Choose bits that you want and bits and then you don't want. Build your own gun. So it's yeah. like a semi, you know, handmade gun for you. Yeah. So I'm so guessing you choose caliber first. Caliber first. Mm -hmm. uh, there are four different calibers. Yep. Um, and then obviously we choose between the receivers. So this is what we call the hunter, uh, the hunter, which is yeah. a black, uh, pure black receiver mm -hmm. with no no um, no frills on there. Mm -hmm. uh, or there's the ultimate receiver, which is a a, a, a glossy nitride finish with nice engraving. Slightly nicer version. So that's the first option. Mm -hmm. And then you select the woodwork. Yeah. Uh, this has got the Bavarian stock, as you can see, but yeah, we also have like a, a, a a pistol stock, which is a more standardised. Uh, uh, stock design. Uh, the Bavarian is a slightly higher grade, um, so the, the, the standard ones are the pistols yeah. in two different grades. Then you come up to the Bavarian stocks, higher grade walnut. Yeah. Obviously, the higher the grade, the higher the price. Yeah. Um, but a, say price range on this gun starts at about 1880, going up to two and a half thousand. So yeah. it's not a huge difference. No, it's not a huge amount. Uh, so yeah, you pick the walnut afterwards. Um, then so choose your sighting option. And then the last element is the sighting option. Yeah. So it could be a batu sight, open sights. Uh, you know, the, there's about six different ranges whatever of sights. Whatever, whichever well. one you want, whichever, you whichever want. suits you best. Exactly. So uh, overall, you've got different elements there to to choose from. So mm. caliber, uh, receiver, walnut, and sighting system. Yeah, which it's, is unlike, it's unlike most rifles in that price range where you just sort of give them one and go. That's there you the go. one you've that's got. That's the one yeah, you have. Yeah. Although yeah. you have there different options of models, that's the one you have. That yeah. one you can sort of pick and choose and make it your own. Well, it's it's almost like building a gun, building a exactly, rifle yeah. for yourself, isn't yeah. it? So uh, it's the first time we've done it. Mm. Uh, it's very complicated from a stock holding point of view. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah. it's there and, you know, it's a great rifle to take away. Awesome. And price rise, 1850 up to two and a half. Yeah. So it's, yes. uh, it's an affordable price Absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yeah. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, so we're over at BSA just having a look at the new gun that was released this weekend, I believe. Yeah, absolutely, today. This is today. the first day. Synthetic stock yep. on the Scorpion TS model. 
Um, Scorpion's been a name that uh, is synony synonymous to BSA. Yeah. We've run for, with for a quite time. a few years. Yeah. This is its latest guys in the TS model. Um, this is a one-piece reservoir that goes all the way inside here that makes the gun more efficient, allows, get, provides more shots, so a higher shot count. This is about 120 to 150 shots, depending oh, okay. on the calibre, from one fill. Um, on the previous models, there was the 10 shot magazine. Yep. This is still 10 shot, but you've got the benefit of this magnetic plate. So as you cock the bolt back, put your loaded magazine inside, yep. it actually sucks it in out, so out of your fingers, it pulls it in. Oh, okay. Um, and then holds so it in place until you're ready to pull it out to reload. That'll hold it in there, obviously, when the bolt goes through it. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, it can't move any away from there. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's one improvement, so it's done away with that cocking mechanism that's in there. Of course, it's the cold hammer forge barrel on there, yeah, thought, uh, yeah. which sets it apart, and we put on all the BSAs. Yeah. Made in Birmingham, England, right. uh, at Armoury Road factory just down the road, six miles away. Fantastic, yeah. so everything's made in Britain. Yeah. Even better. Yeah, and definitely. The, and you get the extra shots per fill as well. You do, extra shots per fill. It's probably, on. what, 40 increase on what was on the... It is. The old, yeah. It's there or thereabouts. The, yeah. On the end of the barrel, obviously, you've got a half-inch UNF thread to threaded for a silencer yeah. as well. Um, yeah, superbly accurate. The best thing of all with this is the 569 price. So it retails at under £600. Really? For a cold hammer forged barrel, 10-shot mag, synthetic yeah. stock, simplified action. It's a fantastic price. What's not to like? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's and, a stunning piece. And the benefit of, of being here at this year's British Shooting Show is you can handle this gun you can go and test it in the BSA range over there, and then you can go and buy it from a participating from a, retailer. Yeah, retailer. Yes. New Seiko 100. The Seiko 100, yes. yes. This is our take down multi calibre uh, bolt action rifle. Uh, new from Seiko. This is the carbon version, the Seiko Carbon Explorer. Yep. Um, this has uh, a traditional bolt action. Mm -hmm. This one is the firing pin safety model. So currently, in unlock. that position is in lock and that locks everything including the firing pin yep. the bolt then we can press that forward and, and load safety and load safety mm -hmm. so we also have our barrel change option so just below here is our two ports for our key mm -hmm. and we just turn the keys counterclockwise and it removes both the barrel and on front of the barrel the mount so your scope and the barrel all stay goes together up and it all comes off in one, which means that when you put that barrel back on, yeah, it returns exactly, to zero. Yeah. So it's perfect. Most um, caliber options, obviously. Caliber options are 22, 250, 243, 308, 6.5 Creedmoor. Mm -hmm. um, coming in the next generation will be 3006, 270, 6.5, 55, etc. We also have 375 available because we have a wooden option in a second. Traditional Seiko 3 lug bolt, yep. nothing to be frightened about. It's all new, it's all the same sort yep. of stuff. And then what we have got here is an adjustable cheek piece on this glorious carbon fibre stock. That is nice carbon fibre, isn't it's, it? It's high density carbon fibre, so it's um, a really beautiful solid mm. feel. And then we've got a leatherette, I'm not going to say it's leather, but it's a leatherette feel adjustable cheek piece. So if we've got night vision systems or high mag power scopes, yeah. we can increase the, uh, the comb height for you there. And then it just simply press and press in. Mm -hmm. And a little nice touch we have a, a, a little tool kit. Okay, little storage compartment. Little storage compartment and a tool kit. Barrel change key, our emergency barrel change key for out in the field. Mm. And it just stows everything away. And we've also got a key in there as well to adjust the trigger setting. So the trigger setting can be moved forward and back mm -hmm. as well as the, the weight of the trigger. So a traditional five round side by side stack magazine. All metal. All metal, nice and solid. Yeah. And that's got the total control latch feature which you have to press the magazine in to, to press the button it. to release. Yeah. I like that feature. It's if it actually bumps the safety, it's like, it means you don't lose your mag. It's a, it's a great feature. Yeah. It's a great feature. The, the, the finish here is called DLC. This is diamond-like carbon. Mm -hmm. So it's really heavy wearing, scratch resistant, yeah. really heavy duty. Mm. And as I say, a beautiful looking rifle. It's lovely, isn't it? Rifle, yeah. I like the fluting on it as well. The fluted barrel's fantastic. 15 by one thread mm. on all those calibers. Obviously, we want to try and standardise things as much Absolutely, as we can. Yeah. So we're over at Hull Virox stand, having a look at the HW100 KT. 
These have been out for a little bit, but this is the laminate stock, which they've just changed. As you can see, you've got the adjustable cheek riser on there. So now they fit it with a button rather than an Allen key, which just makes it a hell of a lot easier to use when you're out in the field and you want to adjust your cheek piece. But it's still, yeah, the lovely laminate stock with the biathlon lever, which now comes with the HW100 with the fitted weaver rail and the legendary Virac silencer. It definitely is, as you know, probably one of my favourite air rifles of all time, and it's well worth a look. Hey, we've got Jeremy here from Christians and Arms. That's pretty cool. I, li <laughs> I like it. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is our MHR, our modern hunting rifle. Okay. We actually launched this about a year ago, SHOT Show. Mm -hmm. uh, started shipping it uh, just about a couple of months ago as well. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely one of the coolest rifles we've done. Something a little bit different. Nobody else is doing this. It is very different, isn't it? It is. So basically what you have here is you've got a chassis rifle. So this is a mini chassis, mm -hmm. right? But then you have, so you get all the benefits of a chassis with all the, all the, the stability, uh, stability, and all stability accuracy, everything Absolutely, that goes yeah. with it. But then you get the sort of the styling of a hunting rifle. Mm -hmm. The other piece of this is the modularity, mm -hmm. right? So we make a couple different stocks. We have a couple different hand guards. Mm -hmm. You can switch that out. You can configure this rifle into, you know, basically whatever, whatever you want. Whatever you want to do, essentially, whatever task you want to do. Absolutely. And then the material on here as well. So you talk about our barrels, obviously, carbon fiber wrap barrels is yep. what we're known for it's what we've been doing we've done that for 25 years mm. in addition to that you look at the carbon fiber on both the stock and the handguard mm. this is our flash what we call our flash forge technology carbon fiber okay so it's a it's a new carbon fiber technology mm -hmm. that um, so instead of sort of that normal weave that you see with carbon yeah. fiber this is it's sort a, of a marbleized isn't it it is yeah. yeah so it's carbon fiber um, fibers that have been essentially forged together yeah. and then we're, we can mold that into the shape that we need. It gives us a lot of strength mm. but it enables us to save a lot of weight as yeah. well. So yeah, we're really excited about this. A um, lot of features on this rifle. So <clears throat> comes with the Picatinny rail, mm -hmm. 20 MOA. You have multiple quick detach sling, sling swivels, sling swivels yep. here. Uh, M-lock, you've got the uh, Picatinny rail. rail here as well. You have our side blast uh, muzzle device as well. So is that a carbon fiber bolt? It is a carbon fiber bolt oh, that's... Also, and an aluminum um, plate as well. Yeah. Uh, calipers? Right now we're, we're shipping it in uh, short action. Yep. So 308, 6.5 six five. Creedmoor, yeah. uh, 6 5 PRC. There's a couple. All more the common ones. stuff. All the common ones. Yeah. Long action available soon? Long action will be available in April. Okay. So 300 yep. wind mag, 7 millimeter PRC, yeah. standard, standard long action as well. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Right, we're over at the uh, Day State stand having a chat with Tony. First day. Yeah. Absolute massive's now closed, so finally we can get to talk. Yeah. <laughs> this is the new Day State Al uh, Alpha Wolf Safari Edition. And what we've got here is the very latest version of our electronic super gun. It's a Delta Wolf with a stock, with a wooden stock on the front, and we have a display screen on the back. So if I just switch this on, you can see we have a touch. A color touch screen on oh, here. Fantastic. Um, if I open the side lever, I can unlock it, and now I can flip through my different settings. I can change my uh, velocity over there, put it up, all take digitally. it down, all digitally, and then I'm in. I can switch to my factory shot settings, advanced shot settings, and so on and so forth. Oh, and it even counts how many shots you've it got left on the mag. It counts how many shots because most guys can't get beyond eight before they lose yeah, the yeah, count. So yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a feature. Yeah, it is a feature. Yeah, yeah. I, I but struggle. But if you're a lady shooter, you don't need that feature because right. you can count to ten. Yeah, yeah. and you know yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there we are. But of course, the final one in here is the chronograph. Oh, this rifle build. contains a built-in chronograph. Oh, wow. Not a stuck-on chronograph or yeah. a Velcroed-on chronograph. Built into the muzzle. And when the rifle shoots, it will correct the actual velocity and feed it back to the microprocessor and correct the shot. So as you're shooting, you can actually see you what can your see foot per second every is on each feet shot. Per second on each shot. Oh, fantastic. And it does it both in the high power version, which is this one, yeah. and also the 12 foot pound one version that also records every records shot. Records the so same. So this is an FAC version. This is the FAC. This is a 45 foot pound 22 caliber rifle. This right, one here. okay. But it could be a 65 foot pound um, 2.5 or indeed a 95 foot pound or a 100 foot pound 30 caliber, 3 -0. Wow. And okay. to change this into a 30 caliber, I undo that screw, yeah. change the barrel out, and put in a different loading probe, 
and I am done, and we can do that in six minutes. Oh, but that wow. includes the programming, yeah, which you can change at the same time because it's got maps in there for the different calibers. Oh, okay. So you don't need to be an, an engineer or mm. an air gun tuner to set this up in different calibers. You can do it at home. Do it all at home. What a great bit of kit. There we go. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> So I've talked about Fierce Firearms before, you have. now it's here. This is new Fierce CT Rage, made in Utah, uh, in the US. Carbon fiber barrel, titanium action, Seiko 85 style, whatever. Style plane, whatever. Uh, Trilug bolt, we recognize it, but it is a custom action mm -hmm. in much the way that a lot of people take a 700 uh, Remington and make, it, yeah. and make it a custom action. Yeah. Someone's taken a uh, Seiko style um, and turned it into a, um, a custom action. So very clever. Uh, titanium benefits, lightweight, strength, strong. Yep. Uh, it will not corrode, obviously being titanium. Yep. Um, carbon fibre barrel, rigidity, strength, you name it. Custom trigger as well, so it's Bix and Andy trigger. They mm -hmm. retail about 350 quid on their own. Picatinny rail on the bottom now on this mm -hmm. model. The stock is sports style stock. I like that quite open weave. It's cool, isn't it? So they hand lay this in the factory there. Um, it's a, like a boutique factory. Yeah. Uh, they test every rifle there, um, mm -hmm. out to a thousand yards plus to prove half and away, which is cool. Which is very good. <laughs> um, so it was out there last year, gonging out to 1265 yards. Um, and it's just awesome. Um, factory ammo as well. QD studs um, on this model. So this Rage comes with this, it's a new feature. Mm -hmm. uh, they've done it on the rival before. Packs full of features, half MOA actually guarantee, which is industry leading, no one else guarantees that. Calibers? Uh, everything from, uh, so the Rage comes 6.5 Creedmoor, mm -hmm. 270, 30.06, uh, 308, um, you name it, everything. Pretty much everything. Yeah. Mag, yeah, yeah, everything. Um, the Edge we do in 243 also, mm -hmm. uh, which is UK special. Um, colours, you can have pretty much whatever you like. So I'm with Josh over at Teak Chokes. I know nothing about aftermarket chokes. Ryan, um, aftermarket chokes. So the Teak technology, we manufacture aftermarket chokes to fit the majority of um, shotguns on the market. We also obviously do our thin wall system where we convert fixed choke guns to multi chokes with the Teak thin wall system. So why might you buy an aftermarket choke, um, a Teak choke versus the gun that comes from the factory with the factory chokes? Teak technology is one taper, so from the bottom of the choke, the leading edge, to the end of the choke, the muzzle end, um, that's all one gradual taper. So there's no parallel section there at all. The idea okay. being that, that that gradual taper gives you much better patterns. You know, the, the shot's being constricted over a longer period of time. Yeah. It's not suddenly constricted from a parallel section, constricted at the end really quickly and therefore giving you lots of flyers around the edge of the pattern. It's one gradual taper. Um, and obviously a big thing, big benefit for that, for that as well is with steel shot, um, it, you know, constricting that steel shot over a longer period of time as well is a massive benefit. It's a benefit. Well. Um, yeah, obviously we get a lot, a lot of questions about people saying, oh, can you use our chokes for steel shot? You can, uh, we, the same thing, we strongly advise standard steel up to half choke, yep. high performance steel, no tighter than quarter choke. Um, so any of the older chokes that people have already brought, they don't need to change them for now to No, exactly, they're, steel. they're all compatible with steel, obviously just providing that with those constrictions, within those constrictions, they're, um, yeah, they're all compatible with steel. So obviously the longer the choke, the longer the taper, so we've got some sort of 725 Invex DS chokes here, so you can see the length with that extension as well, that's still a taper there. Um, so all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah. so yep. some factory chokes may be parallel at the muzzle end and then whatever's outside of that um, is still the same same constriction, it's not, not tapering down. So um, that's one taper from top to bottom. Here we've got, obviously we make them in stainless steel and titanium, so if I pass you those two, um, hopefully you'll feel the difference between the stainless steel and the titanium. Yeah, definitely. So titanium being 40% lighter, um, so you think, you know, with the, like, the Invex DS chokes here, they're quite a long choke, so with yeah. that, that amount of weight at the end of the muzzle, muzzle end can make a big difference. So if, oh, we, can, yeah, uh, if we can make them 40% lighter, it's going to make a massive difference. Obviously, you, you, you will want that. Some people want that. They want that lightness at the end of the muzzle. Some people want the heaviness. So depends yeah, on depending on how their gun's balanced. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. So, um, yeah, and as we started, you really sort of bought the titanium last year. We started doing a lot of stuff with titanium, and over the last 12 months, done, done a lot of work with it. Um, yeah, no, so it's working really well. That's fantastic. You can definitely feel the weight difference on them. We don't do it in our thin wall system. A lot of people say, oh, like, can you get titanium for the thin wall system? The thin wall system, our thin wall chokes alone, so when we multi choke a gun and convert it to our teak thin wall system, they only weigh 14 grams anyway. So there's no, you you're know, going getting... titanium, you, you know, you're not, you're not gaining anything. Yeah, really. there's not so, much benefit yeah, from so it. Yeah, so we don't bother. So, um, but we obviously, as you can feel with the aftermarket chokes, where the wall thickness of the chokes are a lot thicker, yeah. um, it does make a big difference on, on, that, on that weight. So, Josh, tell me, what price am I looking at for aftermarket teak chokes? So, you're starting off at, for the flush. Flush standard aftermarket chokes, 46 pound choke for the stainless uh, for the stainless steel, and then 66 for the titanium. Obviously, the extended and porting and so on go, go through. Goes the up. And, yeah. and can you get them in a set? Or do yeah, you... so we, we don't actually do a set price as such because obviously a lot of people want different quantities and different yeah. sizes and that sort of stuff. So we, we can put sets together for people. Obviously, it's then just multiplying whatever cost that is. Yeah. Fantastic. 
So, you've used these quite a bit in competition, I believe. I certainly have. I've, um, I've got nothing but good things to say about it. This is the ATX, I would say the new ATX, but it's not really new anymore. It's been out for a, a, a little year while. or so. Yeah, a, a year while. or so, I think now. Um, this one's nice in the, the competition red. Um, this is not my personal rifle, but I have got a lot of experience with these. Yes. I used um, an almost identical rifle to win a world title at the World Championships, the IPRF. Precision Rifle World Championships mm -hmm. last year in 2022. That's for factory rifles only, I believe. That was, yeah, yes. that was the, uh, the the title was mm. champion in factory division. Mm. So I was using the rifle exactly in stock form yeah. um, with a Night Force scope as well, actually. Mm. Um, I used a 7 to 35 attacker, um, which I couldn't recommend enough, but I've been so impressed with the, uh, the solidity, just how rigid everything is how accurate it is it's um it's blown me away and obviously everyone knows ai for their mainly their military rifles essentially Absolutely. and this is one of their first in the sporting market i believe yeah yeah so the atx was designed from the ground up obviously the action was pre-existing with the at action yeah. but the barrel profile and, and specifically the chassis has really been designed with prs in mind, in mind um, yeah. It's been a dream for competitors. Mm. Um, it's exactly what we wanted to see from AI. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, even the, the length of the forend, the support when you're shooting off of a bag is fantastic. The recoil impulse is just so linear and smooth through the gun. Even obviously shooting 6.5 Creed more as it is in the factory chambering. Mm. Um, it's smooth enough without a break, but mm. I do use mine with a break just to try and get that extra Excellent. edge. Yes, yeah, absolutely. On yeah. recoil control, but yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Can't recommend it enough. Thank you very much, mate. You're Cheers. welcome. Thanks a lot. Michael, before we finish, I need to say sorry. Do you? Yeah, well, Ryan got like a... Ryan got a present. A present. I did get a present. A prize. A prize nice. for yeah. second place. It was, yeah. Yeah, he didn't get the glory of winning, so we got a prize for second place. And you looked really sad. Yeah. You're used to getting prizes for every place. Everyone gets a prize. Everyone's a winner. Yeah. Like Michael's got trophies for 27th place. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, how, that's how life works. Yeah. 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 So I thought to make you feel like the table leg that you are, I'd get you a nice present. That is a very nice present. When I say I, I mean the British Shooting Show. It's Thank vintage. You, it's actually a, a collector's edition. It's vintage. It's 2016. It's a very nice mug. Well, thank you very much, Johnny. I appreciate it. Well done for coming. Last, again. Last. Again. You won once by pity. <sighs> Guys, the British shooting show was amazing. It it's was. It's been a long day, but a good day. I'm very tired. It's a lot of walking. I need to say sorry to you. We all need to say sorry to you. We didn't show you a very significant fraction of what's here. Mm. It's very hard to try and fit it all in in one day. Everything in, yeah. It's next to impossible. Yeah, yeah, we found that out the hard way. But there's some fantastic things to see. And there's, I'm still looking forward to the rest of the weekend. But we've got two more days going around having a look. We're going to film a little bit more. It won't be in this film, but it, you know, it'll come out as a little bit. It's here and there. Anything that we think significant that we missed, you're going to see it. And this, even more sadly, is the conclusion of series one of the it gun is. review. That's it. It's done. I mean, hopefully there'll be a special coming up soon. Well, there'll be a series two, very likely. Ooh. Will there? Well, watch Maybe. this space. Who knows? We've got a lot of thank yous. Thank you to all the sponsors who made it a reality. Yes, definitely. Thank you to you guys for, yeah, well, thank it. you for putting up with us. That's yes. all right. Our character building. I've known you for a while now. But you're That's a much fun. better guy at the like end that. of series one. Than at the start. No, I think you're the same great guy. Thank very you. confident. Hey, it's been a lot of fun. Thanks for asking us to be involved and thanks to the British Shooting Show for having us. Yeah. The British Shooting Show made this series a reality. They're the ones who came and drummed up the concept and John and Annie have been such supporters They've been amazing. of They've us, been great, allowing yeah. us to use their place, allowing us to use their things and really helping us make this series go. They are like a family here. Even though they have loads of staff, this place runs like a family's running it. Yeah. And it's nice to see behind the scenes stuff that we wouldn't normally yeah. see. It's nice to be sort of invited to be a fringe part of that family yes. as well. So thank you, John and Annie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you all for watching. And that was an amazing British shooting show, day one. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I need a beer. See you soon. Thank you for watching guys. This channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors. You can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you wanna support the channel, you can join as a member. You get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.